A3T, y'all already know how I do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're in this together, you know, Cinco de Mayo weekend, you know, gonna watch the fight tonight, I ain't gonna too much mention that, you know, I'm not even gonna do a video on the fight, but, you know, congratulations to whoever wins tonight, you know, I'm, I'm already on code with the LDBC, but I wanted to talk about uh, Lamar Ball for a second, and uh, brother Lamar Ball, I'm not actually, I don't have a problem with the brother actually uh, coming out with his own shoe. That's, a, that's the smart thing to do. You know, the best way to do things is go independent. What I have a problem with it, with, with LeVar Ball is Buck Dass and Coonan and talking crackhead, having that crackhead talk. That's what I have a problem with, LeVar Ball. Uh, LeVar Ball. And I think he's kind of ruined his son's career. And then... I think charging $500 for a shoe, that's kind of jumping the gun. Now, there are reports that are saying that he's doing a good job making uh, making some, making a little money with the, with the shoe and stuff like that. So, and if he's doing that, that's a great thing. But I think $500 is kind of jumping the gun to some degree. You know, because what you're saying is, you're betting your son is going to be the at least no less than a top five player. In, in in some respect, you're saying he's the best player in the NBA or he's going to be the best player or the best at his position, which I have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I can understand that he's charging 300 200 even even $100, but I have a problem with your betting, banking on your son to... Uh, to, uh, you're basically putting your son in a no-win situation, you know, doing the $500 thing, you know, with the shoes. Now, if it does well, okay, more power to the brother. That, that should make other future basketball players do their thing. But all that buck dancing and tap dancing, I have a problem with. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a bad thing that he got his shoes. I think $500 is kind of like you're banking on your son to be the best player on the league. You're basically saying that in so many words. Because I don't think any other shoe is over $250 at very best. You know? And, and I'm not knocking the dude's hustle. I have no problem with that. But I think all, with all the tap dancing and menstrual show, you know, that got to go away. Right. You know? Now, as far as his son Lonzo Ball, he could be a good kid, but you're, you're rubbing people the wrong way, brother LeVar Ball. But if you're making your money, more power to him, congratulations, I'll be the first to say that. But $500, I still think it's kind of steep. $300, okay, that's not, you know, it's pushing it, but I, I'll say, it. okay, I agree. I don't have a problem with it. But $500, and then you're talking about if you can't get $500, you're not a baller. You know, five hundred dollars should be put on an emergency, in my personal opinion. You know, sorry for my for my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hood. I'm living in the hood. I gotta get some reconstruction with this spot. So it is what it is. But you know, I'm gonna enjoy my weekend and stuff like that. I'm coming back with another video. And shout out to Tiki TV for addressing that. Shout out to the LDBC period because I think everybody in the LDBC has great points I know uh, my boy Ticket had a great point 78 Sports you know had a great point so I'm not I'm not knocking anybody for their hustle and stuff like that so you know it is what it is so this your boy live and direct at Full Effect after 8 2 y'all already know how Jimmy plays me peace out